Now let's talk really quickly about keyword match types. Now, warning, even if you know what keyword match types are, you need to pay close attention to this lesson because I'm going to cover some nuances and some basic rules for our strategy and how we're going to use these inside AdWords. So the search network on Google within AdWords, which is the bulk of what AdWords is, you can run ads that show on the display network, which is running graphical ads or text ads that show up on web pages when they just load, period. But the search network is really what AdWords is all about and the bulk of what we're talking about with AdWords. Someone types something into Google searching for something and then our ads will display if we've set up ad groups targeted towards that keyword phrase. So there are certain match types we can use for how we handle keywords and which ads we want to be displayed based on different types of keywords that were used. So there are four basic match types. There's exact match, phrase match, broad match, and broad match modifier. And of course they have acronyms EM, PM, BM, and BMM. So what's an exact match? Well, this is the absolute most powerful match type for keywords and especially with AdWords. When I talked about in the very beginning of this module how we want to eventually get to singularity, we want to get to one keyword within an ad group or even in a campaign, especially if it's one that's really valuable to our business and worth a lot of money. Well, that would mean we're just going to set up a match for exactly a keyword phrase and we only want to show an ad if someone searches for something specifically that matches it. So an exact match setup is an exact keyword or phrase, just like I said, and it's denoted in AdWords with brackets. So if you set up an ad group and in the listing where you put in the keywords for the ad group, in other words, what keywords the ad will show to, you would type in bracket, grow tomatoes, bracket, if of course grow tomatoes was the exact match. So what this means is grow tomatoes, that phrase is the only phrase that would trigger the ad to be shown. So if someone types in grow tomatoes, the ad is displayed under these circumstances. If someone types in how to grow tomatoes, grow big tomatoes, or any other variation, in this instance, if we have this set up as an exact match, the ad will not be shown. The ad will only be shown to someone that just types in grow tomatoes. So when we put it in brackets, we only want the ad to be shown for someone that types in exactly what's in between those brackets. For a phrase match, it's simply a match to a keyword that contains a phrase. So it's similar to the exact match, but there can be other words related to it as long as it still contains the phrase match somewhere in the keyword phrase. It's denoted in AdWords if you use quotes. So if you set this up in an ad group, you would type quotation mark, grow tomatoes, quotation mark. And what could potentially trigger the ad for this setup would be if someone searched grow tomatoes, which is of course our exact match, but also how to grow tomatoes, fast way to grow tomatoes, grow tomatoes and carrots, so on and so forth, and many, many others, of course, thousands of variations. You'll notice in each one of these examples, the phrase grow tomatoes is actually within each one. That's what the phrase match is. It means the phrase we put in quotes is a part of the keyword phrase. So it is just grow tomatoes, same thing as exact match, but it also is all these other ones with words in front of grow tomatoes, or words after grow tomatoes. But it's not for keywords that would put words in between grow and tomatoes. So the phrase has to stay together and that's what that denotes. For broad match, a keyword that is a relevant variation. So it's denoted in AdWords with no symbols at all. You would just type grow tomatoes into the keyword list for an ad group. But here's what the ad could be triggered for under this setup. Plant tomatoes, grow carrots, tomatoes in your garden, build a garden. AdWords will actually take a broad match and it'll try to find synonyms, similar related words. It'll find misspellings and typos. It'll try to find all kinds of variations that are still relevant or it thinks are relevant to the keyword phrase. So here's an important note, write this down. We are never going to use broad match keywords. The entire AdWords system works on this quality score, which is based on tight relevance. We've been talking about that over and over, relevance and engagement. And you don't get tight relevance with broad match. We'll only use broad match if you ever get to a point where you've exhausted every possible keyword phrase you can think of that you found competitors using, that you've done keyword research for, and you finally want to come up with maybe some suggestions from Google or you want to do some minor tests. Well, then you can set up a test ad group 
You can take some of your better performing keywords and you could set it up under a broad match and just start to take a look at the conversions and see if you can uncover any new keywords that you didn't know about before. Then of course you'll take those that create the conversions, you'll move those to a different uh, ad group and isolate them to start working with them uh, on, on their own with more exact and more phrase matching rather than broad matching. But typically we don't wanna use broad matching at all because it will give us the worst performance and it's essentially a waste of our money. So we don't wanna be running ads, have our ads triggered and shown for just anything broad for any of the keywords that we put in. The exception to not using broad match, we do wanna use what's called a broad match modifier. So what this is, is it contains the same keyword or a close variation, and it's denoted in AdWords with a plus symbol. So if you put this into the keyword list of an ad group, plus grow, space, plus tomatoes, here's what, the ad, what would trigger an ad for this ad group. If someone searched grow big tomatoes, Notice how the two words are there, grow and tomatoes, but the word big is now in between the words, where phrase match, you would never have anything that would show up between them to break up the phrase. But in this case, as long as grow and tomatoes or words that um, Google feels are very, very similar to either one of those words, then it has to show up somewhere in the keyword phrase. So by saying plus grow and plus tomatoes on the same line, we're saying we only want it to show for keywords that contain both of those keywords, but they can be in any order. And so we see growing tomatoes as the second example. It's not exactly the word grow, it's a variation of the word grow, uh, but that's okay because that's, that's kind of how the match modifier works. And then in the last example, will tomatoes grow fast? Notice how tomatoes now comes before grow and of course, there's words added to the beginning and to the end of that keyword phrase. And of course, we can have long tail keywords that are much, much longer than this with even seven, eight, nine, ten, or more keywords if someone you know, typed in a really long phrase. But the broad match modifier allows us to say, I only want an ad to be triggered if these keyword phrases or keywords themselves are included in a phrase, but the words can be in any order and there can be other words mixed in anywhere within that order. So that's basically what broad match modifier is.